Hi viewers, welcome back. In today's class, the topic of discussion is charts. Okay. So, in the previous classes, we have seen about the aviates, the purposes, the different types of aviates, your um, advantages, disadvantages of using aviates and all these things we have discussed. So, today we will start about discussing the individual areas that is like the particular aviates. So, today we are going to discuss about charts. In charts, we have different advantages and disadvantage. The oldest model or the oldest aviate like we what we were using for teaching is your charts. Okay. So, today we will discuss in detail about this chart. So, now you see what is a chart. So, charts are nothing but the diagrams, postures, pictures, maps and graphs that is all drawn or done in a chart, in a chart paper and it is exhibited. So, it is the like uh, comprehension of your diagram, postures, pictures, maps and graphs. Okay. So, which is going to give you a clear cut idea about the teaching area. So, now for purposes. So, the purposes of using charts. Okay. So, already we have discussed when we talk something we forget very easily. So, when you see it is good for remembrance. So, now here in charts again like you are going to show many pictures, ideas, relationships of which is going to make you remember more clearly than just with your lecture classes. Okay. So, the main purpose is your relationship. So, here you are able to tell about the relationship that is like the cause of the disease, the effect of the disease, the treatment, how the drug works, the pathology, how the disease condition progresses. So, that is your relationships you are going to tell with the help of charts which makes or which gives a clear cut idea about the topic and then we have symbols. So, symbols when we are using symbols it is more um, effective when we are showing it on a chart. So, you use your addition, multiplication symbols and like the flow diagrams or the arrow marks when we are using. When you are using charts it makes you more clear and then we have the continuity. So, continuity is like uh, how it started that is like when you want to start from one particular year and when you want to proceed like slowly, slowly, slowly. So, that you are able to clearly make the audience understand with the help of charts and then we have stimulate thinking. Okay. So, when you project a chart, okay, it is not only for chart any type of aviates when you are using what you are going to do, you project when you project what people they start thinking. So, their critical thinking improves. So, how is this step coming? Okay. How is the cause causing to this symptom? How is this symptom causing to this sign? All these things you are able to identify or you are able to make a critical thinking with your audience. So, this is the purpose of charts that is like you are able to create relationships, your symbols you are able to explain continuity and you are able to stimulate thinking. And then we have the effective uses of charts. How can you use these charts very effectively? See, already we said this is going to increase the critical thinking of the audience. Okay. So, now when you are going to show a topic, so when you start with the heading, so what happens? So, naturally they will start getting an idea about this content. Okay. So, you are going to make the audience more clear with your idea. So, when you want to make this more effective what happens like you are going to project only points that is like first point you show you hide and then the second point the third point or otherwise you have different type of aviate where you are going to show step by step process. So, what happens naturally they will start thinking about the process. So, when you want to use this charts effectively, you are supposed to convey only one information at a time, not two, three information. Charts, when you are putting a chart, you can just say the sign of a disease condition, the symptom of a disease condition, the purpose of a 
teaching all these things like only a particular topic can be discussed you can't merge two or three topics in your particular content and then you can give a clear idea about the content so when it is like already it is written you are going to project you are going to explain then what happens so you are going to give a clear idea so if you want your teaching to be more effective you must have a pointer that is like to point where you are going to teach that is like you can have a scale you can have a pen pencil anything a pointer to tell these are the points you want to show these points okay so you must use a scale and like you see to that the chart is visible to all the audience so charts already in the uh, aviates class introduction class we have discussed when we are going to use charts it is only for a small gathering it must be only 10 to 15 members or otherwise maybe the maximum is your classroom you can use that too you must follow the rules of like your large letters must be there so that it is getting projected or everybody is able to see the lines in the charts clearly and then coming to the types so you have different types of charts okay so first one is narrative okay so narrative chart so that is when you are going to tell you write a name and you tell so so and so this particular person invented aeroplane this particular person invented forceps like that you are going to narrate or with the help of a narrative chart like a story you are going to tell with the chart and then we have the cause and effective relationship so with the arrow mark you can tell so this is the microorganism and this is the effect so this is the signs and symptom this is the treatment all those things that is like cause and effect you are going to show and then we have the chain chart chain chart in the sense like you will have a chart like this is like either like a chain like that it will be going like one by one you would have seen uh, the um, predator chart okay so first there will be a plant who eats that plant cow who eats that cow uh, a lion or a tiger and who uh, like kills a tiger a human being like that the human being again he consumes a plant like that there will be a cycle so it is like a chain chart and then we have the evolution chart evolution chart you would have seen that um, evolution of man from a monkey okay so that is your evolution chart so that is the development the growth and development can be shown in a chart and then we have the strip tease chart so what is strip tease chart chart okay it is like you will have many headings and you hide those headings with the paper color paper or otherwise with the crayons or something like that you hide so whenever you want to show that particular content you will open that paper and you will show okay so that is your strip tease chart and then we have pull chart pull chart in the sense you will have pulling tag so you will pull that tag and you will get points okay so when you pull the tag you will get information and that will be shown and then when you leave the tag what happens you will be able to see like you can't see so you have to go to the next point okay so you are going to concentrate only one particular point at a time and then we have the overlay chart overlay chart na is nothing but you would have seen the map when you are going to construct a building what you do you put a oh, layout okay so you are going to tell how is the bedroom where will the hall come where will the kitchen come where will the bedroom come all those things you are going to explain with that overlay chart and then we have the flow chart flow chart is nothing but the way how it is flowing so you are telling the invasion of microorganism so the entry of microorganism then the uh, immunological process begins that is like the fighting of the microorganism with the immuno immune system all those things then you will get the signs and symptom then how that inflammation and inf infection is forming and then the uh, like management all those things it is like a flow chart how it is happening you will be marking and then we have tabulation so tabulation chart is nothing but like you put a table and you write like x axis y axis so you will have 10 15 20 30 40 like that you will put a table and you have to mark that is your tabulation chart and then we have time or table chart time or table chart uh, is nothing but your timetable just remember your timetable chart so according to the time which particular time which class is going to take place when you go for a program 
when you go in for a conference. So, what happens? So, 7 o'clock orientation, 8 o'clock lamp lighting, 9 o'clock farewell, like that they will be giving. Okay, so that is your time chart. And then we have genealogical chart. So, nothing but it is the age chart or the growth chart. So, how is the growth and development or the age chart you are going to say. Then we have the job chart. So, when you go and see your um, college uh, board, notice boards. So, you can see you will have the dean or the principal, then below that you will have your professors, then we have the associate professors, assistant professors, then lecturers, tutors like that and their job description will be specified under that. Okay? So, that is nothing but your job chart and then we have the tree chart. So, tree chart uh, tells like who is the head of the family, who is the members in that family, who are the kids, all those things. And when you are taking your family chart, so when you write your history collection and all you would have seen family diagram, so family tree you draw, so male, female, child, all those things you have symbols. Okay? So, that is your family chart or your tree chart and then we have flip charts. Flip charts are nothing but you will have flash cards cut and you will have charts and you will tag them. So, one by one you have to flip and you have to show. So, that is your flip chart and then we have pie chart. So, pie chart is nothing but like you will have a diagram like your pie and like it will tell you how many percentage of male, female or otherwise this many amount of chicken, this many amount of mutton and this many amount of egg like that telling. Okay? So, you are dividing the full circle into percentages. So, this is with your types of charts. So, so many types of charts are there day to day life many of us are using these charts and then we have the advantages of charts. Okay, so, advantages of charts when we take the charts give a clear idea, okay, it gives a clear cut idea. So, what information you are going to convey and then we have one point. So, only one point you are going to focus at a time. So, again it will give a you a thorough idea, you cannot make the audience confused and then we have easy to prepare. So, charts, take a chart, draw, fata fat, then you can just name, submit, that is all, finish. So, you need not go in for preparation, okay, great preparation is not there and then we have it is economic. So, 5 rupees that is all 5 or 10 rupees you get a chart that is all and then easy to carry and reuse just roll take it with your hand wherever you want to project you can project and reuse. So, you prepare a chart maybe after one month you want to again go and give a health teaching to a patient take the chart again go back give health education. So, it is easy and then we have disadvantages like where the disadvantages only one point at a time. So, it is like if you are going to concentrate only one point at a time you have to take many charts with you. So, or otherwise the audience are going to get confused. So, you can concentrate only on one point at a time. So, that is the disadvantage of charts and then maintenance. Maintenance it is easy to tear. It, it gets contaminated easily, contaminated in the sense it becomes dirty very easily. So, maintenance is going to be a tough task. So, this is what our concept with the chart like where we have discussed what is a chart, purposes, the effective uses of charts, the types, advantages and disadvantages. Hope you understood the class. In case if you have any doubts, you can give your comments in the comment box. In case if you want any topic also, you can give your comments in the comment box. Okay. Till the next class, take care, bye.